Hey, this is Ryan from Foxtech, and today I'm going to explain how eye tracking works on the iPhone with iOS 18. Apple has introduced this powerful new feature that allows you to control your iPhone just by using your eyes. Let's jump right into it. To get started with eye tracking, first, make sure your iPhone is updated to iOS 18. Once that's done, head to the Settings app and scroll down until you find the Accessibility menu. Within Accessibility, under the Voice Control section, you'll now see a new option labeled Eye Tracking. Tap on it, and then toggle the feature on. When you enable Eye Tracking for the first time, the system will guide you through a calibration process. This involves following a series of dots that appear around the screen. You simply track these dots with your eyes, and the system learns how to follow your eye movements. It might take a couple of attempts, but usually the calibration works on the first try. Once this process is completed, your iPhone will be able to detect where you're looking on the screen. One of the key elements of eye tracking is something called dwell control. This feature allows you to interact with items by simply looking at them for a short period. When your eyes stay on an item long enough, the iPhone recognizes this as a selection, and you can toggle switches, select items, or perform other actions depending on what you're focusing on. It's a pretty intuitive way to navigate your device without using your hands. That said, while the eye tracking is impressive, it's important to understand that it might not be perfect just yet. For instance, when two items on the screen are close together, the system might have trouble distinguishing between them. These small limitations are expected as the feature is still relatively new, but it's likely that future updates will improve its precision and accuracy. Overall, this feature opens up new ways to control your iPhone hands-free, offering more accessibility to users. And as Apple refines it further, we can expect even better performance over time. Thanks for watching, and if this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and leave any questions in the comments below. See you later.